Man, I am about to light these bass up. They are stacked in this little creek. Let me give me a shad real quick. Nine one one. What is your emergency? All oh, my shad have died. Excuse me. Can you repeat that? Yes, ma'am. Went out this morning and I caught some shad because I wanted to go bass fishing and I put them in my bucket and they've all got the red nose and they've all died. Your shad got the red nose and died? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Looks like you won't catch any fish today. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I have decided that I'm going to make some changes in my life. Oh, you can do it, can't you? I've been using Old Yeller for about a year now and I made a video on how to put this live tank together. And I've used a variety of different products to put in my water, mostly just rock salt. And after the last video, I decided that I wanted to try something different. So I got on the internet like most people do, and I searched for supplements that you can put in your tank to help your shad stay alive. And I ran across a product called Shad Magic. So did I. And I'm not affiliated with it. I don't have a discount code. So if it works, I'll just put an address right here so you can go check it out for yourself. They've got a couple of different blends that you can buy. One's called uh, two to five gallons, and this one's 20 gallons. Now, Old Yeller is 20 gallons, and it says fill tank completely with lake or well water. Well, I can get that part right, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. All right, the last step is to add bait and enjoy your day. Well, I'm hoping this is going to work. You know, one of the problems that I have is I have a little filter down in the very bottom of the bait tank and it always gets, gets full of shad scales and it clogs up my aeration system. I also have a little filter that I bought from Walmart and it also gets full of scales too. So hopefully this is going to work and I won't be having to mix up all these crazy concoctions that I've been using for the last couple of years. Hey guys, I do want to pass along one thing that I've learned is if you've ever put shad in a tank, you'll notice you get a lot of bubbles on top. Well, one thing that can fix that is some coffee creamer. Go get the cheap stuff from the Dollar General. Put just a little bit in here. Whatever's in this will take those bubbles away. So try that the next time you get a lot of bubbles. But this looks great. So, so far, so good with shad magic. Hey guys, since I'm here, I hope you don't mind if I catch just one fish. I'm going to drop a live shad right on top of a bass. All right, there he is. Come on. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, nope. Come on, get it. Come on. Right. There's like four fish right up underneath me right now. Come on, y'all bite it. Come on. There you go. I know you haven't had breakfast yet. Go ahead and eat it. Go ahead and eat it. Go ahead. Oh, he just, he's right in front of the boat. He's six feet in front of the boat. Oh, he might have it. And we might have a gar. But we're going to check it out anyway. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, guys, that's why I love fishing with live shad. Nice, nice bass. Now, we're going to head to the house. Yeah. Hey, it seems like shad magic is working pretty well so far. Now this morning, all I wanted to do was really try it out to see how it worked. And it's working pretty good. Just a second ago, I put some of the same water in my little tank with about a dozen, dozen and a half shad. And I'm gonna take these down to the beach to see if I can catch a redfish on my bass shad. All right guys, we have made it to the beach. It is 6.30. So, you know, I caught those shad this morning at 9.15. I loaded up my truck at 245 and headed over here to the beach finally made it so I want to take a look at these shad typically whenever I put shad in a small environment like this they die but I am really impressed because they are all alive and doing great so that's going to be our bait today is I'm gonna throw these live shad out on this grass flat and hopefully pick up a redfish but even if I don't I'm really happy with shad magic uh, this stuff really works, so let's go try to catch a fish. That's the spirit, little buddy. Now you're getting the hang of it. I just love sailors. <laughs>